The acquittal of former President Hosni Mubarak was celebrated by some, but angered others. Supporters gathered outside the ailing president's hospital. This is an expected acquittal for a man who refused to run away from his land, a man who refused to order the police to kill a single protester. The 88-year-old led Egypt for three decades until his overthrow in 2011. Many viewed Mubarak's rule as a period of autocracy and crony capitalism. <laughs> Families of those killed during the chaos of his overthrow called the verdict an injustice. The people who are now jailed were the ones who revolted, and those who the people revolted against have now been released. The whole world is upside down. An 18-day-long revolt against Mubarak led to a democratic election that brought Mohamed Morsi to power. Morsi served for one year before the military ousted him and cracked down on supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood. Mubarak has always maintained his innocence, saying he wasn't even aware of the killings. <laughs> Families of the victims had demanded the investigation be extended to include Mubarak's head of military intelligence at the time, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, the current president. When we think about what the initial calls for the revolution were, of democracy, good governance, transparency and accountability, this seems to be the final nail in, a, in the coffin against the revolutionary narrative of it's not just politics as usual, but those that were held accountable for the deaths during the revolution have now all been vindicated, acquitted or have um, time served. The acquittal will now prevent lawyers of victims' families from reopening civil suits for appeals or a retrial. Many believe the culmination of the trial calls into question the independence of the judiciary, which they say is a political arm of the executive branch. The fact is that the first verdict that came against Mubarak uh, uh, four years ago, five years ago, were politicized. It was just handed down to appease and to calm down the emotions of the families of the victims and the martyrs who were killed during the revolution. Mubarak was sentenced to three years in jail on separate corruption charges. Much of that time has already been served under house arrest in a hospital. That's reportedly where he'll continue to spend the rest of his days. Paul Chadurjan, Al Jazeera.